What is up guys? Welcome back to Sin Cow. So, I changed the name on the channel. A lot of things have come up in the past six months since I haven't been active. However, we are back and we are going to be changing out this electrical pump on my welder. It's been having a lot of problems staying active and shutting down while I'm in the middle of an arc. So, we're going to end up changing this thing. Pardon the dog in the background. But anyways, I'm going to change the electrical pump on this thing. Let me switch the camera around. So, this here is what it is. It's got the wiring, got the um, ground, the red, all that good stuff. Got to move some of this shit out of the way, but I cleared out all of my truck yesterday and got to get this umbrella out of the way. Um, I am taking my D1 pipe welding certifications and I'm studying like hell for it. Oh, that's great. It's underneath the floater. So this here is what I'm talking about. This is the old one, and then this here is the new one. Obviously, it's got plugs on both sides. This here is the L-Brock, and this is going to, the way that the um, fuel is actually going to go, because it goes into the carb down in the system, and then the gas tank is right down here, which this tube here comes out of here into the electrical pump, into this filter, goes into the carb up top. So that's what we're working on today. So what I need to do is just clip all of these bad boys. I'm not worried about where it sticks out. So what I'm going to do with this, it's very simple. So I'm going to take a flathead to this um, fuel line here. And I'm gonna try to do this as up as I can. So here we go. This is where it's gonna get messy because the lines are gonna come off. So we're gonna undo this one here all the way, take the screw out. Unless it's, there we go. I'm just gonna take it out, all right. Okay, so now I have a bucket. Now I'm gonna take my pump right here and then take this gas line off. Which I need more of. Yeah, we're just gonna drain all that gas out. It's not gonna be very much, so. Bang. On. I'm going to show you guys, this is not really draining all that much. This one here seems to be tight. I'm going to wrench before I even start it. I'm going to come all the way down here, onto there. I'm just going to squeeze it on. Put the flat head back on here. It's brand fucking new, dude. I'll do this. The ground. I don't know where the hell the ground is. Oh, it's already connected to the battery. So we're just gonna clip this off. The wiring off. So I'm going to weld with this thing, um, just put it, the new electrical pump on it. You guys saw the time on there, 
unfortunately I didn't get the beginning of the 15 minutes before I started recording the time and um, we're gonna see I'm gonna see um, how long I can go to weld with her when I start this piping on this video I've been studying for my D1 so um, I just wanted to start her up for a minute and just to see how things were going I'm gonna prep some pipe so I'm going to be welding it with this thing just to see how she runs so this here is gonna actually be welded onto the side so I can prep pipe so let's go ahead and do that I'm gonna start the trailblazer up it's a 280 and it's already working. I don't know how good it's going to be. At least I think it was. I didn't look at it. There's a lot of shit that still needs progress on this welding, but practice always makes perfect on this side. Because as you see, it's a little off, a lot off. 
Determination needs work. Starting point needs a lot of work. But hey, it's my first weld. Pipe weld and official practice pipe weld in a couple years. So, yeah. Okay, let me get presentable for the camera. Recapping at the beginning of the video, this here is Sencal Welding, Fab, whatever the you want to name it. I'm going to bleep some cuss words out because a lot of people just don't like it. Some of them I'm going to leave because it's just who I am. I went back off of filming and I redid a whole ass pipe. Now let me tell you guys something. I am not the most perfect person in the world. I'm still learning. And people that are watching my channel, you guys are still learning as well. So I'm posting my whole journey of being a industrial uh, universal pipe welder here on the internet. So why the hell not? I'm gonna make mistakes. I'm not a perfect human being. I'm going to fail on the internet. I'm going to lose a bunch of people. I'm gonna, uh, it's all the way around. And I'm not a perfect person and I'm not a perfect instructor. And a lot of people are gonna bash on me for whatever the hell it is, but I'm gonna keep on going. So, we have a three inch pipe, all right? And then we have some nice little dimes here of 7011, all right? Then we turn the pipe over and the termination is shit, right? And then this here was a 7018, eh. But the root, you guys can't even see the root, but it's it's there. I'll cut it. To, I'll, I'll cut it in the next video and show you guys. Okay. I'm gonna post pictures and video, or pi just pictures that I've just taken tonight. I've worked for a couple hours tonight on the buggy. It needs a whole new front end, you guys. So pretty much this here is the buggy. It needs new tie rods, both the driver and the passenger. It also needs to be just cleaned the fuck out like i'm talking like a fucking broom to go into this tube and the other side needs to come out it just everything needs to be cleaned out and sand down sandblasted and all kinds of stuff so that will be in the next video it's just this is kind of like a mix-up of a lot of into one video and i figured that i owe it to you guys because i've been gone for six months Anyways, a lot has, a lot's changed. A lot has been a learning experience, to say the least. So, we're going to keep on going. We're going to keep on posting on here. I'm kind of just dead on the other platforms. It's just, I, I'm, I'm a human being and I'm learning and that's just what it is. Welcome to Sin Cow Welding Fabrication, whatever the f you want to name it it's just sin cow i didn't want my name to be in the title anymore just starting fresh everybody can come out with a new fresh thing anyways hope you guys have a good night i'll see you guys next week and i'm out bye it's good to see you guys and it's good for you guys to see me